Good morning. Hi, welcome from Cape Town. It is Sunday. Oh, sorry, Saturday the 11th of May. And this is the start for my vlog for Read It Then. Um, my second nephew has been with me for a couple of weeks and he's going home today. So we're just waiting for his mom to come pitch him and then get that all sorted. And then I can get my space back. And then I can focus on reading. So I just came to grab a space that's quiet in the sun because, you know, it's cold. It's warm in the sun. It's nice. Mm. Um, and then it's on to reading because it's the 11th and we need to get on that. Okay. See you soon. Bye. <laughs> I still need to, at the back here, create me something. I need to make me a corner that I can record in. Um, because I need a bit skew. I need to be in a center, Mr. Penta, in the middle, settle. Okay, so I'm about to start The Witches of Hogs back by Sally Partridge, one of my favorite authors from South Africa. Um, multi genre. She's a young adult author, um, and I've read a number of her works already, and now we're going to read this one. This is a witchy crime thriller, young adult, high school. Um, let's have a look. <clears throat> Zelda is a self-proclaimed self do-gooder who simply cannot stay silent if she sees something wrong. Unfortunately... This doesn't win her any popularity votes. Even her boyfriend Dylan couldn't put up with it anymore. Desperate to escape from everything for a while, Zelda signs up for a school hiking trip to Hogsback. Her illusion of having a nice relaxing time shatters when she stumbles across a mystery nobody seems to care about. The death of local teen Stefan Dale. Soon Zelda herself Soon Zelda finds herself knee-deep in trouble from having her room vandalized to nearly being killed by an unknown assailant. Someone clearly doesn't want her looking into Stefan's death. Her prime suspects are a group of teenagers known as the Witches of Hogsback. But are they really the most dangerous people in the forest? There is more to this case than meets the eye. Do -de -do -de -do -de -do -de. I guess that sounds intriguing, um, but it also sounds kind of like I don't know. Let's have a look. It's, it's, it's a mystery. It's a mystery. Let's go. Uh, yeah. Um, believe me when I tell you it's a layer time. You in my house? Because it's, it's cold. Do we have blankets at the ready? Um, we have extra jackets and stuff. Um, we have to wear double pairs of socks. Because it might be 18 degrees, 19 degrees outside. This is autumn. It's not winter yet. My house is at least like 10, 12 degrees, 12, uh, it's cold. And then if it's colder outside, it's colder inside. And the only time it's warmer inside is when it's very cold outside. So yes, I have multiple layers on and I will go put on a Dexel. Oh, I'll put on a hat later uh, because my board is going to get cold. Yeah, I just thought I'd share yeah so i need a quick ex escape because the x is coming for i don't know what reasons i blocked the numbers i i do not want to communicate i do not want to see his face i do not want to hear his voice la 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 so he's coming to my nephew they they're gonna chat about something i don't know they can find that's fine that's fine i don't need to be here um i don't see why they need to meet at my house all the time every time he wants to come here but that's another you know there but i 
I'm not in the mood to deal with that today, so I'm gonna take my book and I'm gonna go for coffee. Like I need a haircut again. Oh no. So annoying. These things all grow so fast. Why? Now I have shape. But this. I didn't just cut my hair. That's long ago. I swear. I swear I did. Anyway. Welcome to Thursday the 16th. <laughs> I haven't obviously been reading. It's been a week. Um. Xavier went home on Saturday and then I had to make space again for me put myself back in order again and then it's been a flurry of catching up again yeah and then this morning you know I was just at the council not long ago and I got my electricity problem sorted but it's back no rhyme, no reason, and it's just back. So now I have to figure out what the hell's going on there. I waste more of my time. And they're going to give me the run around. That's going to take weeks and weeks and weeks. In the meantime, my problem is just going to get bigger and bigger. I don't know what it is that we're doing when we comply with everything that we are supposed to comply with. And then the government just does whatever the hell they want to do. No. Mm -mm. So, I'm not in a good mood currently because... <laughs> okay, so I'm currently reading The Witches of Hogsback by Sally Partridge. It is set in the Eastern Cape in a place called Hogsback. I would actually, actually really love to go there because of this book. And also, there are very fascinating facts about Hogsback. Do go check Google. Uh, and if you're a fantasy lover, then this might be fascinating to you. Not the book, the place. Um, and not even if, you, even if you're not a fantasy lover. Go Google it. You'll thank me later. Also, also, the author highlights the things. So, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Now, what's happening is that um, our girly Zelda has gone on a school trip. On a hiking trip, which she doesn't do, just because, uh, you know, she broke up with the boy, boyfriend broke up with her, and now she needs to get away. And from appearance and from everything, just just get away. So she went on a hiking trip with with other individuals that she doesn't know exactly. So <laughs> two hogs back, and they're in the hotel, and and she's now boarding going <coughs> hiking. But when they get there, they find out that so that somebody died, like not too long ago, like 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 a couple of days or whatever. And they said it was suicide. But then she goes investigating because she's one of those people that just can't leave anything alone. She, if it's a mystery, she has to unmystify it. She she can't accept a mystery. Um, she also she's also one of those people that likes to call things out when someone else, when she sees wrong being done. She won't just ignore it. She's, she's just like that. <coughs> Pardon me. So, she goes investigating and la la la, and then now she meets another boy. La la la, and of course, chemistry, they're like 17, 16, 17, so. Yeah. <laughs> so. She's investigating these things, and now she's found out that they are witches and blah 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 blah. And and the witches eyed her, spied her, laid their eyes upon her. And the next day she goes back to her hotel room and it's been trashed, okay? And 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 symbols have drawn everywhere and she's freaking out. So what does she go and do? Into the forest we go to go and meet the damages so I can speak to them. La 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 because of course we're gonna do that. Because of course that makes sense. <laughs> so that's where we are. Um, it's very goth now with the witches. So I think the author's playing that up a bit and, and, and just making spooky stuff. I like to see where they're going. She's about to meet the witches, or the main witch guy. I don't know if he's the main guy, but 
apparently he's the main guy with the coven. So she's gonna go talk to them. They went into where the witches were because I'm brave apparently. <laughs> so that's where we're at. Um, and now we are going to read them about halfway through uh, unlike page 91 chapter 11. So it is a quick read. I just haven't had the time. I haven't had. I haven't been. I've been doing other stuff. And then by the time I get to read, it's just like I don't feel like it. Okay, I don't feel like it. So that's where we are. I'm sorry. It is what it is. Um, yeah, I'm going to. Also, I've been playing PlayStation. I'm not going to lie, because I only have it for a short period of time, and then my brother takes it away, and then it's months and months before it comes back to me, if it comes back. So I'm playing before it goes back home, and that might be this weekend, so... <laughs> uh, my camera just died uh, on my phone, I don't know, it's app just... I don't know what happened there. I, I I don't know. It's old, and I need it to be replaced. But I don't have money, so I have to live with what I have. Anyway, um, okay. So Emma Byrne is haunted, hunted, and increasingly terrified as her clients, all desperate women willing to sell a piece of their soul for a scrap of magical power, are being killed off one by one. Jude Wolf is rich as sin and, a, and as handsome as the devil, but she's also cursed. Her immortal soul is tethered to a demon and her body is decaying. She needs a solution. Fast. Zara Jones' sister has been murdered, but Zara has no time to grief. She is set on revenge and on bringing her sister back from the dead. The clock is ticking. As Jude and Zara's darkly terrible paths drive them ever further into the occult, they arrive at the same grim location, the apartment of a murdered woman, and there they find a strange business card inscribed with the words, Emma Byrne Curse Writer. Emma, Jude, and Zara's lives are now unavoidably entwined. All three damaged young women, one cursed, one hunted, and one out for revenge, must track down and eliminate a brutal supernatural killer before they too become victims. A haunting horror thriller. Ew. Let's have a look at that. Let's see where we go. Welcome to the 23rd of May. <laughs> um, yeah. So I've been doing stuff. And I finished The Invocations by Crystal Sutherland. I loved it. It is all I can think of going through this at most of the places is, uh, brother, uh, you know, that meme. So, uh, So there's three girls, different people, and they are involved in, they each have a thing, they each have a thing, like, they each have a reason to do what they want to do, so, following everything, they automatically, just hold on, they eventually find themselves together. Um, and then they started working together. It's actually really, 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 really good. The characters are fantastic. The story is fantastic. Um, the imagery, I have to admit, isn't so fantastic. It's not... It's, it's got horror elements like, you know, corpses and decomposing bodies and the maggots and, and that kind of thing. And if you've seen the movie The Craft, I don't know, go look it up. Sorry about that. Um, it's got that kind of vibes. Okay, so so think of the craft 
and and this goes not the same it's not the same i'm just saying think of the vibes of the movie the craft and then um yeah and then what else is here what else can i think about um there's a list of trigger warnings by the way a big list of trigger warnings let's let's just let's just let's just have a look at that i don't know if you can see can you see there you go look at that 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 so yeah <laughs> This is really good. I actually enjoyed it. Um, it's not horror, horror, horror. It does have horror elements to it. It is paranormal because it's witchy and occult. It's also fantasy because it's witchy and occult. Lol. Um, but it's also like a mystery and a thriller. So it's it's really good. It's young adults. Mm -mm. It is well paced. I love the pacing. It's, it's fast paced and then slow, and then fast paced and then slow because that's how, that's just how it happens. It's not a problem. It's that there's parts where they have to do investigation, parts where they do action. So that's pretty cool. I, I love how this is put together. Um, I'm giving this four stars. Um, if you print this one, uh, please let me know down in the comments below what you thought of it. Um, if you didn't read this one, and you think you want to read about it or thinking about reading it then i say give it a go i say give it a go um yeah so thanks to pan macmillan south africa for sending this to me that was pretty cool yeah so so do go onto that one and then la 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 so of course i also started an audiobook i do need an audiobook for or I do need a book for the different or the, the format other than what you earn Block, right? So I have Magician by Remedy Feist um, um, When I was much younger in my early 20s, I, I read these books and Immaculate man, I can tell you I, I fell in love with epic fantasy, okay? Uh, I've since become Learned that there are other types of fantasy and shorter in shorter chunks and stuff. So I've become a bit spoiled and these kind of books intimidate me now. <laughs> no. But I love these. Um, so I found the audiobook on YouTube and I saved it for a while. So I decided I'm going to read that because I needed an audiobook. And for the, in between the stuff that I did, because I finished that other thing, the Positively What Was the series, and I needed something else. Um, so, I found this one, I decided to, started to listen to this one, then I went to go dig this book out. Um, this book originally was this big, it was called Magician, it has subsequently been broken into two. Um, there's a part one and a part two. Um, I don't know, part one is called Magician Apprentice, I don't know what the second one is called. Um, what's going on outside, there's so many noises. But at book two, and I don't know what the page is now, I hope I can find it, because I'm almost there. No, never mind. Anyway, book two is around... Yeah. So this is book one, and this is book two, um, and which they've now made into two books. So this is now labelled as one and two. Yeah, and I'm currently already... Uh, 186 pages in. Uh, do you want to know what this is about? Okay, I'll tell you. At Criddy, a frontier outpost in the tranquil kingdom of the Isles, an orphan boy, Pug, is apprenticed to a master magician, and the destinies of two worlds are changed forever. Suddenly, the peace of the kingdom is destroyed as mysterious alien invaders swarm through the land. Pug is swept up in the conflict, but for him and his warrior friend Thomas, an odyssey into the unknown has only just begun. Thomas will inherit a legacy of savage power from an ancient civilization. Pug's destiny is to lead him through a rift in the fabric of space and time to be to the mastery of an unimaginable new magic. This intricately woven tale of a titanic collision between two worlds is gripping in its intensity as a diverse and intriguing cast of characters is thrown into the tumultuous upheaval of invasion. The epic battles, the cultural clashes, and the occurrences of magic are all vividly depicted. 
Feist's realization of a world is both monumental in scope and utterly convincing. Now I can tell you that this is, has been, was great. It was great for younger me. Now I haven't read it since, and and to be honest with you, I, I don't know why. I, I'm meaning to, but there's all these other books that I have to read anyway. Um, listening to it now, I, I can literally. It's like fresh in my head like I, I i just read this not so long ago in the meantime it's been at least 20 years since i read it and that's the fun part about it and now listening to it someone else read it is like I, I can't understand what he's saying so i had to dig the book out to see the name specifically so i would have pronounced cridy c-r-y-d-e-e -E, as cridy he pronounces it as criddy so we'll go with that. And then um, the guy, the Baron's name, for example, is Condoin, surname or C O N D O I N. I would say Condoin. They say Condoin or something is, is what they're saying. Um, so that threw me off a bit. So yeah, it's always the names, it's always the pronunciation of things, of places and names. Um, they get you in the end because you pronounce it here in your head and then you listen to someone else and you keep wanting to throttle them. No, it's not pronounced that way. In the meantime, you don't know actually how it's pronounced, right? So, um, there was something else I wanted to say uh, about this line. But anyway, it's another you know there. Uh, oh yeah, so there's, there's, there's... All epic fantasy, you know, there's a thing, so they've just finished a part that reminded me of the Fellowship of the Ring. The Fellowship of the Ring, okay. Um, also, you know, if you're a fan of that kind of kind of thing, J.R.R. Tolkien, um, uh, Robin Hub, uh, 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 Terry Goodkind, epic fantasy kind of guy, Tad Williams. Check out Remedy Feist if you haven't. I, I, I do recommend. Start here. Start, start here. Um, because this is, this is the beginning of, I think, all of the books that span these two. I think this is the world that starts and then everything else goes on to you. So yeah, I've only read this main one. I haven't read more. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah, that's that. And then, and then, on to my next one. We are going to go with Hot Stuff of Volume 3. I'm running out of space to record. i am got 9 minutes of 11. So this is going to be the next one. I'm going to clear some space and I'll come back to you and, I'll, and I'll, we'll continue on telling you about this. Okay, bye. Okay, hi, hello. <laughs> <coughs> Pardon me. It is the 27th. Uh, yeah, and it's about 11 a.m. So, uh, I've made space and I've been doing some stuff. Yeah. Look, I have books everywhere, all over the house, everywhere. Okay, and I need to make a pretty thing. Yeah, so. For YouTube. So now I'm going to start going on. Look, look, and, and I'm going to see. So now my first priority is to determine which books go on the shelves and how I want to do that. I'm going to put a, a tapestry here. Yeah. It's a wall hanging. It's not a tapestry. Tapestry is actual thing, but anyway, you guys call it that now. I'm going to put it there. Just so it looks nice. I'm going to do all sorts of stuff and, and, and I kind of like it. And I think maybe. Yeah, that's better. More center. Yes. So yeah. So mm -mm. what do you guys think? Is it a start? I think it's a start. Yes. I'm so excited. I had a wall of books and I missed it so much. So much. So many books could go on there. And it was so pretty. And I had to take it down because life, we won't go down that road. Anyway, I'm done with half stuff of volume four. And, and guys, this one, this one, oh. 
a deals with mental health and getting help and all of these things and how to talk about it and who to talk with it's very important it's very important of course and mm, you know i cried and cried and cried and cried these boys these boys oh my word these boys i love them so much so i don't need to tell you about heart stopper because this is volume four okay you know heart stopper if you don't know heart stopper then where have you been cool 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 so that's the end of that i'm also on the second book of the second part of magician this book two um again originally when i read it it was just magician it has since been split into two because there is a book two yeah it splits in in yeah but it was first book one of two and three and then they've now made it the riff war saga and split this into two so yeah so that's fine so we are on the second book um yeah that's pretty cool so it's epic fantasy but it's also aliens um and there's war um but it's medieval fantasy so there's no war machines like tanks and stuff there are trebuchets and there's ballistas and 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 catapult stuff so that's the kind of war we're going and then there's magic of course <clears throat> um so the the book is about pug right who was an orphan foundling and they picked him up and then he did something um and he became an apprentice to the magician whatever and then he saved the princess's life so he became a squire um, but his best friend thomas um at the same time as he was chosen for apprentice he became a swordsman a guardsman whatever so da, da, da. and then they went on a trip and in this trip they were separated and then in in a cave and they were separated by a race and then sh 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 one leads to another and, and and thomas gets a magical suit of armor that's a lovely um while pug uh gets taken by the aliens so that's where they've gone to so now in book two we're following what's happening to them so now we have split POV now which is pretty cool so things are happening and that's pretty cool and this is really good and I'm telling you this is I'm listening to it okay and it's like this book is just like fresh in my memory it's like every single word is like oh yeah yes of course and like I can remember but some other books that I read last month not a word. I can't even remember if I read it last year, if I if I read a book or not. I don't know. Anyway, so enough about that. But I'm really fast. It's pretty cool. Do go check it out. And then next one we are on is Lost Flowers of Alice of Alice <laughs> of Alice Hearts <laughs> by Holly Ringland. This is courtesy of Pan Macmillan. This is courtesy of my shelves. Um, this is uh, a one of the books that I got from the JBPX book talk event last year. Uh, yeah, and then Invocations is from Pan Macmillan. And The Witches of Hawksback came. in. A Night Out Book Bag. I can't remember, but yes. So that's courtesy of Marsha. So that's what we have. We want to three books down. So far, we are currently in the best. La la la, it is the 27th. We are currently reading The Last Flowers of Alice Hart by Holly Ringland. Let me tell you all about it. Or, or not, you can, you can skip this part if you like. And go read it on Google. The writing is so small though. It is teeny tiny. I mean, you might... About the bigger on there, but it's teeny tiny. Nine year old Alice Hart has grown up in an isolated home on the Australian coastline, where her mother's enchanting garden shelters her from the dark moods of her father. When tragedy changes her life irrevocably, Alice is sent to live with a grandmother she's never known on a native flower farm, which gives refuge to women who, like Alice, are lost or broken. In the Victorian tradition, every flower has a meaning and, as she settles into her new life, Alice learns to use the language of flowers 
to say the things too hard to speak. But as she grows older, Alice realizes that there are things that even the flowers cannot tell her. Family secrets are buried deeper than the flower's roots, and if she is to have the freedom she craves, she must find the courage to unearth the most powerful story she knows, her own. The Last Flower of Alice Heart is the internationally best-selling novel by Holly Ringland, perfect for fans of Where the Crawdads Sing and Kate Morton. So yes, so yes, so yes, okay, cool. I, I've obviously started reading it already um, because because last supper didn't take long. And, and the other one is audio. I'm currently 103 pages in, okay, okay. And I have been crying and crying and crying, okay? Crying and crying and crying like with bloody baby. Um, and, 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 and yeah, this is just the first piece. This is just the first piece, okay? So yes, the stuff has happened to the poor little Alice. Okay, she has an abusive father, and a mother tries to protect her. Um, it's very, yeah, so she's led a very, very terrible life for, for a nine-year-old. Um, and then tragedy strikes, and her parents have died, and she wakes up in the hospital, and now she all of a sudden she has to go to a grandmother, who she never even knew she had, because her parents never spoke about it. So now, um, <coughs> her grandmother, <coughs> sorry, has picked June, June, the grandmother has picked Alice up from the, from the hospital and they've driven across the outback and they are now at the farm and it's called Thornfield. Yeah, and it's pretty cool, it's pretty nice, I, I'm, I'm loving it so far and this is where you are, so now we're busy with the healing part, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming, I'm assuming, it's guys, guys, guys. The writing is, like, I can't, it's, it's just, it's beautiful, it's lovely, and I mean, the Australian landscape is what we get to see here as well. Um, yes, I'm loving this, and then of course when I'm done, I want to see if I can, you know, sort of find that, not on, not on Prime, but on download. Or on streaming from somewhere else. Um, to see how well they adapted it. Because I'm loving this. I am absolutely loving this. I'm, I'm, it's five stars already. I'm only in there. I mean, I mean, I mean. Okay, so, so good, so good, so good. If you read this, please let me know down below in the comments what you thought about it. If you have this on your shelves, I'm only 100 pages in. Come join me. But please be spoiler free for those of you who have read it. I don't need any spoilers. Okay? I just. I just love them. And I love little Alice so much. So, so much. I just can't wait to see you grow up and see what's going to happen. Um, and I'm loving the setting. And I'm loving the writing. It's just. It's just. Mm, I can't explain. I can't tell you. It's just. Mm. So, yeah, that's where we are. Um. So I'm going to be doing some of this because the books are everywhere. I'm not joking and, and I need to get some, they're in my way. I need to get them out. I've got, my dining room table is a pile of books. My, my bedroom cabinet is a pile of books. My, there's things there on the chest of drawers there is a pile of books. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. Okay. So yeah. And then of course I'm going to continue reading. I have few more days so I hope you haven't finished this guys I'm telling you the writing is tiny 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 why Pat Macmillan why why so small rather make it a thicker book well uh, okay then see you next time bye <laughs>
<laughs> it's public holiday today because today is election day. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm gonna go make my mark, grabbing my documento, and off I'm gonna go. So yeah. Let's go see. I, I, I'm hoping to have avoided queues already. It is about 12.30 now. So let's, let's see how it goes. It's really hot. I was only there in the queue for like five minutes and then it went through. So um, it's just after five, I was there, like 20 to one. Just after, at 20 to one, it's just after one. So yeah. Mm. Hello, hi, 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 hi. Welcome to Friday, the 31st of May. And that's five months gone already of this year. Why is my eyebrows sticking in my face? Um, yeah, so, <laughs> we finished, we finished, we finished Alice, the last flowers of Alice Heart, and guys, five stars, absolutely five stars, I didn't put on my ring lights, it's okay for now, okay, so, uh, yeah, if you've read it, and if you didn't cry, and if you haven't read it, and, you, and you're going to read it, and then if you don't cry. And if you haven't read it and you're going to read it, here's a warning that you possibly cry because I shed so many tears throughout this book. I'm not even going to lie. I'm not even going to lie. Five stars. Five stars. The writing is incredible. The characters, Alice Hart is, ah, uh, you know, yeah, I, I do. I, I, I know, I know, and I feel her because uh, I also feel that I want to I want to get somewhere in my own merits. I don't want things handed to me. So it's pretty cool. Um, this is not what the book is about, but that's what she is part of her. So yeah, do go get this one, Holly Ringland. Thank you, Pan McMillan, South Africa, for sending this to me. And uh, yeah, absolutely love that one. Um, I also finished on audiobook edition by Remedy Feist. This is technically two books. This is book one and book two. Um, but it's one book, so we will take this out. This was my bookmark. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. So this is about a boy called Pug and also a secondarily about his friend called Thomas. They grew up together in the Keeping Credit. Um, and he, Thomas becomes a soldier and Puck becomes apprentice to a magician. Um, so and so and so forth and things happen and then all of a sudden these strange beings appeared because there's now aliens and they've come through a rift and they've now waged war on Medchemia, where this place is, and, um, because they don't have metal, so they're coming to steal the metal, they come to mine metal. <clears throat> and as things conspire, um, the boys get separated, um, and Thomas gets gifted from a dragon a magical suit of armor, and Pug gets taken by the aliens and he gets taken to the other worlds. It is really good. This is epic fantasy. Um, I'm not sure if this is adult or young adult. I, 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 would, I would say it's quite possibly young adult now because of the themes and stuff. 
nothing to there's nothing to hectic actually in this book so i'm pretty sure this is young adult i wasn't i didn't know what to label it but but this is great okay this is also five stars this is book one and two i listened to this on audio i do not have the next books but i am going i'm listening now to the next one silverthorn that's book three so i'm listening listening to that on audio so that brings me to all of these and whatever I listened to on audio, and I successfully completed my readers in for me. So I'm going to. I don't know. This is my big board, I'll insert it there. So this is what my final tally is going to look like. And also, uh, I'll make that into a TikTok for TikTok. Hmm? So yeah, pretty cool. Ooh, pretty cool. Almost fell out of my hands. Blah, 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 blah. And yeah, so this is the spots I got with my backdrop. I think it looks pretty cool. I don't know. My computer, my uh, monitor is like a TV and it doesn't have a, have a stand. So it's like kind of flat. So when I sit down, it's kind of low. So I'm going to put it like here so that I can work there. If this, if this is too high for me, then I'll put it here then I can work here. Perfect size. I don't know. I just, I just, I need to do it for me because it's my office and my studio and my library and the place where I spend most of my time, actually. So, cool, 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 cool. So, yeah, tell me what you read in May. Leave a link for me if you have a video. Um, I'd love to know if you've read any of these. Oh. Um, keep, they keep slipping out of my hands. If you've read any of these, tell me what you thought about it. Oh, and Heartstopper, oh my word, my heart. I need five now. I need, I need number five. I need number five. Yeah, so, um, June is tomorrow. I need to do a TBR. Um, I don't have very many queer books left on my shelf that I haven't read. There are a couple. I do have some tours that I've been on, so or oh, I've signed up for, so I've got those ebooks to read. So yeah, so that's probably going to be my next video. Oh, that's my next one, but um, the next one that I make. This is the end of this one. This one will go up after. <laughs> it's weird, right? Anyway, um, it's cold in Cape Town. Um, winter is starting, and the Temperatures plummeting it is today maximum of 16 degrees Celsius um, if it's not warm if it's not warm also my house is colder there's no insulation and you're gonna hear me complain about my house and how cold it is Ugh. sucks all it sucks it literally sucks all the heat out of the room and then out of your body so yeah fine so bye bye from winter in Cape Town and if you're on the other side of the world, please enjoy summer on my behalf. I'll, I'll, I'll have summer in six months. Bye!